Hi guys, thanks for watching. Welcome to a complete and total transformation of both of our master closets. I'm sharing the entire process start to finish. You are in for a wild ride. I hope you're ready. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and let's get started. In and out of love. And here is a better look at the before. So this one is my closet and then we'll move over to Chad's closet so you can see the before of his. And both of these closets only had one row of hanging space. There's boxes on the ground because I had nowhere to put those items. We moved into this house around 10 months ago. So we sort of had like a makeshift setup since we always planned on redoing these closets. We even have the dressers in here from our old bedroom so that we had some drawers to put items in because we couldn't hang everything and it's just so messy so disorganized it's really hard for you to be organized with only one row like this and no drawers so we had to do something I'm going to link part one of this process below where we went through all of our clothing, did so much decluttering, we took down the wire shelves, and then we painted the closet white from this cream color. We decided to start putting together our new closet system in the garage because all of the pieces were delivered here, so it was just easier. Everything we needed was right here, and then once we were done with the section, we brought it upstairs and then put it in the closet. So it just kind of helped to like split things up a little bit, and we decided to go with modular closets for our closet system. They're great quality. They have so many customizing options. There's different colors and styles to choose from and it's made for DIY so it's like really really straightforward and thank you very much to modular closets for providing a portion of the products you guys see in today's video I have used a few different closet systems in the past and this is by far the best quality and also was the easiest for us to put together This is a random feature to point out, but I just thought this was such a good idea. There are three pre-drilled holes on the inside of the drawer and they're not on the face. So it depends if you want to do a pull or a knob, you know exactly where to put it and you're not stuck to one option. So you can like figure it out as you go or make up your mind later. In Chad's, we did a pull. So we did the two holes on the outside and then in mine, we did a knob. So just the center hole. I just thought that was so smart that they have it like perfectly measured out for you and then you can choose what you want to use and then they also came with this little hardware piece to secure the different towers together so it just gave it a little more of a seamless and streamlined look and there's so many small details I wasn't expecting that I wanted to point out to you because I've used different closet systems before and they did not come with anything like this they didn't have the option for knobs or poles so I thought those two features were really cool and before we head into my closet and do some fun decor things, I figured I would show you the modular closet website. So there's customer photos. You can design your closet yourself or you can have the modular closet team help you. They have a design team on staff. It's a service they offer so they can help you to work with a design that you like or your budget if you have a specific budget. And they have really great prices, but there's also so many different options to customize. So if you want to do tons of drawers, tons of shelves, there's a shoe shelf option there's different style hanging racks you even can drag in sweaters or dresses to see like what fits where so I just think this thing is very very cool to play around with the program's called 17 squared and you guys know I'm like such a custom person I love to customize anything and everything so when I was trying to decide on what I wanted our layouts to look like I was playing around with this thing like crazy it shows you every wall and it gives you all the dimensions and everything you need but now it's over. It can't be over. 
One thing I am all about is a look for less, as many of you know, and I found these knobs on Anthropology that I fell in love with. They were so beautiful, but they were $32 each, which adds up very quickly. So I found these on Etsy, and they're almost identical. They look a little more washed out on camera than they do in person, but they're a very light, like faded purple color, almost lavender slash white. <laughs> um, so those are beautiful, and they stand out. And then I'm going to be adding in a peel and stick wallpaper it's also called semi-permanent wallpaper if you've been with me for years you've seen me use this all around the old house I had it on the ceiling in my closet there I had it in forest room at the front door in this house I've used it a few times as well and what I love about this kind of wallpaper is there's no commitment so if you ever want to peel it off it comes off very easy and there's no residue left behind I thought this gave the closet such a custom look and I wanted something a little bit different. I'm going to show you just a little bit of setting up Chad's closet. I'm really going to be focusing on mine. I figured that you guys would way rather see that than a bunch of guy stuff. So the first thing I'm adding in are these dividers. I bought these on Amazon. I'm going to be linking a lot of different things I bought on Amazon below to organize the closets. And I should have measured with these dividers. They don't fit in the larger drawers front to back or lengthwise, but they do fit sideways in the smaller drawers. So that's my own fault. I should have measured with mom life I'm busy as you guys know so sometimes I skip over things and it ends up working out and sometimes I skip over things and it doesn't so that didn't but it's not a big deal I didn't even really need them in the larger ones anyways so I'm starting to add some things in his drawers and now we are back to my closet and I'm going to show you guys finishing the wallpaper and then I'll put the shelves back in and we will go from there to each other i know we feel the same about the situation like we're stuck inside a game time to get out of this circle yeah we both carry a scar as you write the part we're playing time to cherish who we are the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before or oh, oh yeah it's time for something better and time for us to follow our dreams no we can't stay no more oh. We are starting to get organized and add a lot of clothing back in and I like a lot of versatility so I have a lot of open shelves I also have a lot of drawers I'm excited to see how this closet system like evolves with me over the years and how much I change it up because I like to change things often so I might add some baskets in these open shelves one day I have a lot of shelving on the other side that you're about to see in just a few seconds right here so I know eventually if I don't want those open shelves I could take out some of those shelf inserts and then add baskets and I just think that these closet systems are like really really versatile so for now I have a lot of shoes I'll be adding over there but if I ever want to change it up it's gonna be really easy to do that and now I'm organizing swimsuits so one of these baskets is going to be one pieces the other one is going to be bikinis and all these baskets are going to be stored on the top as you can see there's a lot of room underneath the closet system but there's there's a lot of room on top too. Now it's time for something better. It's time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more.
If you haven't tried the Kanmari method for folding your clothing, I highly recommend it. I've used it for years and I don't always follow it perfectly. So don't feel like you have to either. What I do is I just work with the space that I have and see what fits the best. And the most important aspect of the Kanmari method is pretty obvious. It's that all of your clothing is standing upright instead of being stacked on top of each other. So when you open the drawer, you can see everything that's in there without touching anything. It keeps your drawers so much more organized and I just think it's like the best possible way to have everything as functional as possible. Now we are on to some hanging items and I've always been obsessed with hangers and having the same hangers in a space. So I have a few different colors in the house and switching over to this like peach peach-ish pink color and you will see the other ones on the bed as I organize in just a minute. And for hanging items, I always like the front of the item to be facing me. So on the left side of the closet, the right shoulder is sticking out and then vice versa on the other side. That way I'm always looking at the front and I know exactly what I'm looking at and I don't miss anything. I also like to somewhat color coordinate. So the whites are in the front, the color is in the middle and then black at the end. You give me a sign, give me a sign, oh give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. I only included a little bit of this because I know you get the point really quickly. I just wanted to show you the hangers I was using before. It was a mix of hot pink and black. So all of the black hangers are going to go in Chad's closet. I think they fit really well with the poles and his and the light fixture. All of that stuff is black, all of his accents. So they look really good in there. The hot pink hangers are going to go downstairs in my office. I have a garment rack in there for things I need to share with you. On Instagram story, I like to do a lot of hauls and then I'm switching everything over to this peachy pink hanger that wasn't on one before to see if you've been texting me where do we go from here I want to go all in so give me a sign We still have a ways to go, but can you even believe where we are right now from the beginning? It is such a much needed change. If you guys haven't liked the video yet, please like it. I would really appreciate it. And make sure you write a comment down below. When the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with, that I should be. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. The gold hangers I'm using for my skirts are also from Amazon. I went through like a zillion listings to make sure I got the best price, the most amount of hangers for the least amount of money. These have white tips on them. They're just really cute. I saw in the review photos that people are using them for adult clothing, of course, for kids clothing, and even for hair extensions. So maybe I'll do that too. Just give me one more talking to you and here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. One of the last things I need to go through before we do our walkthrough and I show you guys the after is a big box of shoes. So you saw in the beginning I had boxes in the bottom of my closet for almost an entire year because I didn't have anywhere to put those items and there was even more boxes in our storage room downstairs. So I was very excited to finally bring those upstairs, unbox them and have a place to put them. I'm just going through all of our shoes. A lot of them I'm going to donate and then what I'm keeping, I'm about to put on the shelves. Next to me, girl. Next to me, girl. 
The shelves are pretty deep, so I do have some sandals tucked away in the back. The rest of the shoes are facing forward. I did try that look where you have like the back of the shoe of one, the front of the other, but I always end up switching back to having the front facing forward for both shoes. I just think it looks better. It's more my style. And I did put all of the sandals up top because I'm not wearing those right now. It's winter. And then the boots and all of the shoes that are appropriate for this season are within reach. I did decide to slide around some shelves too, so that way they fit perfectly for what I need at the moment. So I'm moving one for some flat shoes and then I'm moving one for ankle boots. And we are nearing the finish line, guys. There's a few more things I want to organize with you, and then we're going to do our final walkthrough, and I will show you how absolutely everything turned out, both in my closet and in Chad's closet. So they've been painted, they have the new closet systems, they have new light fixtures. It's a complete change. I know you guys love to see every little detail, and you love the long videos, so I wanted to make sure I included as much as I possibly could for you. Right now, I'm organizing all of my denim on these two open shelves i'm going to fill up some drawers and then we will see the final look Closets are done. We're about to do our walkthrough, show you how everything turned out. I absolutely love them. I'm so thankful. I find myself just like walking down this hallway so I can look at them. That's how much I love them. And a lot of you know this, but just in case you don't, this is part of an even larger project. We redid our entire bedroom. The before and after of this is wild, but like the bedroom, I can't even believe it. So I'm posting that one about two weeks after this one. For some of you, it's already up. For some of you, it's going to be up soon. So. Let's do the tour. The first thing I wanted to show is the light fixture. So it's off as you can see. It's always impossible to show light fixtures on. It just looks really, really weird on camera. It comes in a lot of sizes. There's smaller versions, there's larger ones and like chandelier styles. And then this guy is for all of my accessories and my jewelry. I don't have a lot of it. I don't have any expensive jewelry, honestly, at all, um, except for my wedding ring. So I don't have a lock or I don't have this locked, but if you do have expensive stuff, then you can lock it. It's really big in there. A lot of my accessories are in the bathroom in a dish. So this is like the overflow stuff. And then, sorry, this is so hard to show up here looks like that inside that's a good sneak peek i will link that if you need it it's ugly on the inside i don't like the red but it fits perfectly on the outside so that was my main concern and then i need to slide that over so everything out as far as like hanging stuff besides the dresses is the cute stuff like all of the basic shirts and tank tops are in the drawers and then all of the fun stuff is out so this is all my blouses and shirts that have a lot going on and then tank tops same thing like fluttery tank tops sequin tank tops and up top are pants that are not leggings or denim it's like real pants that i don't wear very often um i have skirts back there and i'll show you guys everything i used so all of this stuff is linked below in a closet section so i linked like the hangers that i found on amazon i linked these hangers it's like a pale pinkish peach color um I have some purse stuff to show you and link as well. I have sweaters down here and I love to mix it up with anything and everything. So some of these are an open concept and then a lot are drawers, obviously. 
as you can see and I know with this brand of closets they do have like a flush style drawer but I prefer the bordered edge I just think it looks a lot nicer and then I'll show you guys this section so I have a purse hanger from Amazon some sunglasses out I have a hat and scarves up there the pants are right here I think I said that that was pants but that is all of my shorts the wallpaper is peel and stick I bought that online from Walmart I've used so much peel and stick wallpaper I absolutely love it I just wanted to do something different in the back so it could be plain white it could be the wall color that's like the real wall back there there isn't a back on these um and I just did the wallpaper in this section and then in the shoe section so I didn't do it on the hanging stuff because you wouldn't be able to see that anyways and then over here I wanted like a big open area so if I'm in a rush I can set stuff there and put it away later but for the most part I'll put some totes there and then smaller purses are right here and I only have one wallet so I bought this thing to put them on if I get a smaller bag I'll put that bag right there I just use like a card holder and then I just have a fashion box up there I know it's kind of hard to see um, the very top with the light on but there is like a bunch of extra room up there so as I have more things and I need some space I can put it up there there's also room to grow on the bottom so one day I might do like a long shelf on the bottom and do a bunch of shoes and I really really like that everything well not everything but the shelves at least are adjustable so if you have like really high winter boots and you want a big open shelf in fall and winter then you can do that if you have a lot of sandals you can add in extra shelves and do them really narrow it's whatever you want and I did want to mention if these things bother you they don't bother me at all I couldn't care less but there are these things you can buy that go in those holes and it makes them like way less noticeable so I'll give you one more overview of the shoe shelf and then I'll show you that sunglass thing real quick. I'm sure I'll get questions on that. So this is an Amazon find as well. And I know there's some sunglasses in my car, so it's not like filled up. But there's three sections in here. I like an oversized sunglass, so they are pretty big. And they do fit a lot of sunglasses. Like these are very oversized. And they do fit in there fine. And this stacks as well. If you need like a few more rows, you can do that. And then... These fit really, really well. So I needed somewhere for my leggings. I've had these baskets for a long time from Home Goods, like a few years ago. And these are just the leggings I wear the most. Some of these are for working out and the ones in the front are for every day. And then up top here are my graphic tees. I love a graphic t-shirt. I feel like they're kind of awkward and bulky to fold. So I prefer to hang them. They take up a lot less space that way. Down here are my cardigans and some sweaters. And then I did put some sweaters right there. And then this section are my fancier dresses, which I wish I wore these all the time, but you guys know I don't. I can dream. And I did put some fashion boxes out, which is very extra, but it looks very sex in the city. Whenever I look at people's closets on Pinterest, I love that. I just think it's so fun. This one is my joggers. Still love the Kanmari method for folding. This one is basic t-shirts. Um, down here. This one is basic tank top. So like I said before, the fun stuff, that's what you see out hanging on the hangers. And then the stuff that's not very fun and regular is in the drawers and then this one is my pajama sets over here is workout stuff that I don't use that often workout tops and then this one is short so not tons of different stuff in the drawer I'll give you one more overview and then we will head over to Chad's closet really quickly that one is very different than mine so I thought it'd be good to like show them in the same video to give you guys two completely different ideas because these are super custom like whatever you want to do you can do it and I love being able to look at it on their website before it's extremely helpful and the wallpaper sticking out is just so cute so that is everything in this closet and over here is Chad's closet so his is very different than mine. He has the black bar for modular closets. They also have a gold bar that looks exact, or handle, pull, whatever, that looks exactly like that too. Just figured I would mention it. That's what his light looks like. We have a lot of light fixtures going on right here. We have 
that one right here but that's okay i love light fixtures so oh and i do have all of my um sweatshirts up top so when you first look in this is what you're looking at he has so many drawers um i do have one of his drawers as well how could i not so those are his sweatshirts i know he has more i have no idea where they are this is watches, I believe, um, speakers and random accessories. A lot of his hats are front and center. Some of those are downstairs by the back door too, but like extra. And then I put his shorts up there. These boxes, I made those a very long time ago at the old house. There's one for ties, accessories, and I don't even know what's in the other ones. And then a little blanket right here. And I'll show you guys a couple of these drawers so he's got socks in there these are like workout type shirts i love the kanmari method i don't know if i said that already but i highly recommend it he has way too many t-shirts as you can see but who am i to talk i know i have a lot of stuff too i used to have everything like perfectly organized by color um at the old house but i'm a mom now I have way more important things to do. This is my pajamas, like the not cute pajamas. So sets are in mine as you saw, and this is just like extra. His dad diaper bag is up there. All of his pants are on hangers over here, and then his vests and a lot of sweaters are back in that corner. And then I'll slide over this way. So like t-shirt, or not t-shirts, but his collared shirts are in this section, his long sleeve. And some fancier items down there here's what this end looks like it's swim cover-ups for me and then sports shirts and jerseys um for chad stuff he never wears and i never wear but i don't want to put it in storage and he doesn't either and then he has a lot of sweaters over here some sweatshirts up top on that shelf i didn't even know that there were drawers over there i need to see if there's anything in there oh it's extra spacers and no, it's basically storage, but I think it's so cool that like these drawers can be tucked anywhere And if you have shorter shirts like I do in this section, then you can have sweaters. So these are super customizable I just love them. We are so happy with them And they turned out really great. They're honestly like Such a nice thing to look at A little overview once more, I need to fix that drawer, ignore that. There's pajamas sticking out of it, that's why I won't close. And then this. So, his, and then hers. And that is officially everything. So much work, but so worth it. We are like over the moon, excited about this. And it's gonna be so nice because you guys saw that before. One bar to all of this is like the biggest improvement ever. I will link these closet systems below. I'll link all of the extra things I use, like the sunglass organizer, different hangers, etc., below, and recent videos. So don't miss out on that description box. And I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye!